what's up so it is man i've been sneezing you ever start sneezing and you can't stop sneezing that's been me it is you almost said i had my dog dog oh yeah that's my dog hello dog all right sitting in my hammock and my hammock and my trees are too close together so i gotta go get a different kind of thingy my bob so it is thursday it's the evening sun's still out right there and uh, sitting here just reading kind of relaxing for a moment reading through the book of james i've been preaching on the book of james and we're in chapter four uh, so if you if you see this and and you you worship with us on sunday at the salina church of christ uh, look at my dog, man. He eats sticks. I don't get it. You see it? I don't know. You tell me. Is that a bad thing? Man, my eye looks red. Are right, is that a bad thing? My dog eats sticks. I don't know. He just eats them. I don't know why. But I'm reading through the book of James and, and studying on it. And I encourage you, if you're going to be there, Salina, t uh, this Sunday, read chapter four. We're going to be in chapter four this week. Uh, we've, we've looked at the book of James and seen a couple things. I don't want to spend too much time on it. But just the idea, the book of James kind of has this uh, beautiful unveiling, or, or I call it a, a peeling of the onion. Starts right off. Awesome, right? Uh, right at the beginning, James says, Consider it pure joy, brothers and sisters. When you go through many trials, it's bright sun. Uh, or the word there, trials or temptation, can be the same word in the Greek. It's kind of interesting. Where the trials or temptation, consider it joy when you go through those things. He's kind of starting it right off. And James, I think he says that for a couple reasons. One is, I think as you read the book, you're going to go through trials or temptations, depending on what you do, whether whether you allow it to be a trial for God or, or where God is showing how good he is through you. And and how dedicated he is, and, and, and then, or you then allow Satan to take that trial and turn it into a temptation. So, but the chapter one kind of starts off on that and, and continues into this thought right off the bat. And James is a short, powerful book, and it goes to chapter two. And in chapter two is where we get that known verse that we all know, right? Uh, the idea that, you know, you say you have faith, I will show you my works. I'll show you my faith through my works. What, what a powerful phrase. And, the, and what that is, because he's starting to say, okay, brothers, you, you, you are whining and complaining possibly about the fact that you're going through trials or going through temptations. Why aren't you walking? You say, gosh, I mean, I, I trust God. Why didn't God see me through? I have faith. And then... James really cuts to the quick, cuts to the, the harsh, real, beautiful, practical fact of stop talking at the talk and start walking the walk. Interesting. Chapter three, it changes. Now, <clears throat> not that words are important, and that's kind of what I preached on last week. The idea, that the phrase, right? Uh, Sticks and stones might break my bones, but names will never hurt me. We think that's an interesting phrase. Because that wasn't true. Man, when I was growing up, words, words are powerful. They're, they're, they're strong. They're, they're effective. And they hurt. And they lift. And I gotta be honest, I'm a word guy. You know, I went to this marriage seminar with my wife, and there's this thing called the five love languages. And you know what? And I, I thought mine was, you know, you know, or physical contact or, or uh, uh, acts of love or or uh, spending time with me. But no, you know what it is? Just build my ego. I, that might be a bad thing, but it's, it's words of adoration. I really do, man. My wife can make my day or crush it by words. But I love words. I love to use words. I love to hear words. And so words of adoration, and then the idea of words of adoration or words, they're powerful. James chapter 3 then jumps into that. The idea that, that who can tame the tongue? Mm. Man, words can hurt, they can help, they can hinder, or they can lift. 
But who thinks they can control? Scripture tells us that 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 it's a small tongue, and 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 can start forest fires. Well, even that, the idea. James continues on that idea, right? Just like a large ship has a small rudder, that rudder controls it. Scripture says where the pilot wants to go. Again, the idea of a small spark starts a forest fire. So that's just kind of the interesting thing. That goes in chapter 3. and So we, we challenge that idea. My son. And then, um, that's my son. Everyone say hi to Jeremiah. Say hi. Who's that? Say hi. Hi. All right. Who's that? It's everybody. Say hi, everybody. Wait. Wait. You do know that you, it's recording it, right? <laughs> hi. There you go. Uh, so, but, you know. Uh, so the idea, that's chapter 3, and then Who chapter 2, oh, there's Mr. Puffin. This is that's, Buddy. That's Buddy. Yeah, he does, whoa, oh, oh okay? sorry, Buddy. Okay. He just dropped the dog. Don't drop the dog. We, we need a new dog. He broke it. All right. Uh, so, wow, you hear the Kansas wind? And then James chapter 4, I don't, I don't want to give it away. We're going to be preaching on it this Sunday, and this is already becoming a long video. James chapter 4 is the next peeling of the onion. You want to start changing your walks or changing your talk. But if you want to start changing your talk, you've got to change the heart. That's the key. Jesus tells us from the outpouring of the lips, the heart speaks. Something like that. See, here's the powerful thing. How do I change my words, Robert? I, they just kind of come out so quickly. And, and yeah, if you're trying to tame the tongue by your own power, it's not going to work. You've got to give it to God. And, and I say this from weakness. Let me clarify. I struggle in this. I struggle with, with gossip. I struggle with, with the, uh, uh, angry words. Gossip in Psalms says it's a choice morsels. So there's a prescription I kind of give. And I counsel and I talk to people. And this prescription, two things. First and foremost, I start my day. I head into the office. And when I get into the office, I sit at my desk uh, kind of listen to some music, kind of calm down, focus in, and I pray. And I talk to God. I seek wisdom from the Lord. I, I ask God, you know, show me my day. I've got a few people I pray for. I have a prayer request with our church. And I pray. And I specifically journal my prayer. The reason I journal my prayer, let me tell you why I journal my prayer. I started journaling. Uh, I first didn't journal my prayer. The reason I journaled my prayer is it was like clockwork. Anytime I would take some time to pray, something or someone would come and interrupt. Now, I'm not saying they were of Satan, but what I am saying is Satan took the trial, tried to turn it into a temptation to see if I could stay focused in on God or if God would give me the strength to stay focused in on Him. So, I started journaling. And I, and, I, and I documented these prayers with the Lord. And I write them out. And I, I'm honest, man. I'll date it. And if I miss a day, a day with prayer, it's dated. It's there for me to challenge. And then second, after I pray, after I ask God to show me the wisdom, after I ask God to bless the day, after I seek forgiveness in, in, in sin and, and understand that, that all these things I come or come from a sage position with the Lord, that my sins are forgiven and washed clean through Jesus' blood, and I am a new redeemer. I am not a redeemer. I've been redeemed in the power of what it is. I then go to reading. I, spend, I just spend a short time. Every, every day I read a chapter. And that's kind of my thing. I hope if you get to see you on Sunday that you start this even this week. You read and pray. The power of what that is. So that's it. Chapter 4. Go ahead and get into your Bibles. Go ahead and bring it. There's my son. Say goodbye. Have a great day. Bye.